Hello fellow fellows! Thank you for visiting us once again dito sa ating tea time and dessert time sa Werribee. I'm here with a new couple from Alice Springs, Northern Territory, in the middle of the Australian continent. I have Yem and Lala Eugenio. Yes. <laughs> How did you find Melbourne? It's vibrant. Very vibrant. Yes. Uh, Agreed. Of course. Uh, so I'd like to ask, you know, uh, what was your migration story? I understand that you guys uh, started in the Philippines and then you moved to uh, Singapore at one point and then eventually here. Could you tell us more about it? Start from the uh, beginning uh, about coming here to Australia to migrate to Australia. It was started in 2000. Yep. So while I'm cooking at the same time working in a uh, uh, real estate company. Mm -hmm. So from there, sabi ko sarili ko, why not migrating to Australia? So I find a way to get my dream, to fulfill my dream, and then I think na but hindi ko na ipush yung passion ko, which is Cooking, cooking. Mm -hmm. So you're a, you're a, um, a chef in one of the uh, pubs in Alice Springs right now, right? Uh, uh, it's uh, it's actually a family club. Family club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's the name? Gillen Club. Gillen. All right. Yeah. We're gonna put it on the screen para you know people can visit you. One oh of these yes, yes. <laughs> definitely. And. Um, uh, how about you, Lala? What uh, what is your migration story? Of course, I understand uh, you're uh, married to Yem, but you know, uh, on on your own words, uh, how did you um, get here? So um, well, because Yem, he went to Singapore, mm -hmm. and dating, mm -hmm. and so I realized now I not mag try din ako mag abroad. Since I've always been independent in our family, ako lang yung, because I'm a middle child, so I think middle child, mm -hmm. I don't know, syndrome is that what they <laughs> So why not? The adventurous one. Yes. yes. So it's a no from the dad, but it's a yes, no to the mom. I see. But I still went through in Singapore, and then I worked there for almost three years. Uh -huh. As a? Um, customer relations executive. So I see, okay. So school, and then um, when we got married, of course, I have to be with him. Mm -hmm. And so right now, I'm working as a dental nurse in Alice Springs. In Alice Springs, yeah. alright. So you're... In Alice Springs Dental Surgery. There you go. <laughs> Put it on the screen as well. <laughs> alright, so um, coming here to Australia, my next question will be, any of the experience you know, differences? You know, like in terms of the culture, in terms of the climate, maybe. Ano yung uh, nag impress sa inyo, you know, uh, first stepping here sa Australia? For me, because um, para umalis ba sa comfort zone. Okay. Which is in the Philippines. Yep, yep. Yeah, that's one way for me to ma uh, get mature. Myself. Like, I see. Uh, but, of course, uh, Easy to put out in future way. That's true. Yeah. It, it depends on the on the person or the people. Kung ano yung isipin, isipin nila for the future. But I, yata yun na isip ko. Mm -hmm. Yung dream ko, yung push ko. Yung, since gusto ko naman magluto, passionate ako yeah. magluto para sa ibang tao. Right. But of course, being a chef is not just passionate. You have to have patient and Dapat dedicated ka. Dedicated ka. Exactly, yeah. Kung hindi, iba, ibang kasi ng emotions ang ma, ma-feel mo. Yeah, especially na nasa ibang bansa ka and uh, oh, yes. different, different culture. Different culture. So, kung baga, kung sa Philippines, uh, times 100, yung emotional roller coaster, 
Yes. Ngayon na sa ibang bansa ka, it's gonna be thousand, thousands, thousands of times, thousands of times. Uh, yeah. much harder. Yeah. But you went through with it, and uh, you know, congratulations, you're you're doing very well uh, here. How about you, uh, Lala? You know, with your pra- practice right now as a dental assistant, um, has it always been something of a dream of yours to pursue that, or? Um, Not exactly. Okay. Because I hate going to the dentist. <laughs> I think okay. Everybody does. Everybody does. <laughs> yeah, but I find it interesting. Mm-hmm. And um, challenging somehow. Right. Yeah. And then you'll get to see every person's emotions. I say, <laughs> Go it's a dentist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one wants to be there. Uh, I, I heard from somebody at one point that, you know, truth, the true person comes out. Yes. In a dental office. It's true. <laughs> no gender. No build. No. I've seen guys that are like very muscular and like. No <laughs> I was just shocked. Now, God, <laughs> relax. Uh, uh, that's funny. It's funny. But um, uh, was there a, a specific you know story that you'd like to tell us? You know, like a. Uh, a time when uh, you realized you realized that oh I'm I'm already here in Australia you know like maybe uh, something that something that uh, touched you you know on an emotional level uh, whether good or bad could you tell us uh, a story about For me that? personally my opinion about Australians is they're we Filipinos are emotional but mm-hmm. I think Australians are also emotional in a sense na they're sensitive okay. as well in a good way. Right. I think. Um, so of course we're not from here. Yeah. Diba? Um I like how even if you're Asian as a whole, I mean diba? that's what they they characterize us or describe us. Okay. Yeah. Um I like how Australians is actually open on um, letting us feel na oh you belong. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. Um, of course, every now and then, you know, parang, well, yeah, you know, I think, but it gets the, <laughs> you, you get across some and, people, yeah. Yeah. but um, in general, but in general, mm. I, especially at my workplace, I just like how um, the environment is parang, you don't feel as if magkakaiba kayo ng lahi. I like how everybody was like, oh, that's Lala, oh, she's Lala, she's not Asian, she's not Filipina, she's yeah, Lala. She's like, yeah. mm. And that's when I realized that, oh, you know what? I think I love Australian whole, not just because of how this country is amazing on its own, but just how the people are really nice in general, I think. There you go, yeah. And they're very open, you know, with us being here as well. Right. Not letting us know now we're different. That's right, yeah. Everyone gets a fair go. Yeah. In your your slang term. How Australians are very, they're into conversation in a good way mm-hmm. not like like they would really make time to say or ask how are you right. not just for a uh, no, formality the how are you but how are you <laughs> yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah you know you exactly. know the normal they go beyond the small talk oh, oh, yeah. there you go. that's what i like about australians in australia they especially are. here in melbourne even for someone <laughs> that you would ask oh do you know where to go to this street i mean mm-hmm. this person total stranger they won't just tell you now oh you just go straight and then turn left no they'll be like you know what i think if you go straight you'll see this yep. corner yep. blah 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 That's right. it, it feels as if they're actually there to help you That's nice. they're not just giving you directions because you're asking nice. they're actually yeah. there like okay so this is what we're gonna do for in particular because yep. this is our first time here yeah. And I was telling him, I was like, oh my gosh, it's true. Everyone's so nice. <laughs> How about you? Uh, yeah, and maybe a different question for you. Yeah. Ano yung advice mo sa mga nagbabalak na mag-migrate? You know, uh, in particular dito sa Australia. Because yeah. uh, we, we know that there are Filipinos all over the world. Yeah. You know, they, they're either overseas Filipino workers or migrants like us. Are you advice you yeah. know, you know, in terms of the mindset or whatever? When you want to migrate here in Australia, not just not not just telling to yourself that, oh, I want to migrate there, but mm. of course you have to work that out. Mm, like, okay. for example, if they need uh, chefs, you have to go study first anywhere, 
and then get some experience as of the moment um so chef uh maybe uh to get to get to get the sponsorship yeah you have to have like two years experience all right full time before they even accept your application on other uh countries or and that's what you did right so singapore mm, yeah yeah that's what i did and um you know i'm loan of australia is changing every year yeah so um loan nila ngayon is uh two years experience and then you have to have like trade skill Ah, assessment yeah. they have to have like uh, IELTS or English exams mm -hmm. to have like six points in each band yeah. you have to have that but if you have bachelor's degree probably it, it's it five point five. Yeah, yeah yeah it depends on the points yeah, it's all about Mommy. it's not about the employer it's about the government and the law of Australia yeah but yeah and uh, yeah the, the laws here are very strict when it comes to migration then. yes so we need to heed that, yes. uh, fellow fellows. Yeah, the thing mm. is, yes, you just have to believe in yourself. Yep. And you can do it. Right. Kaya nandito ako. Push, nandito push through, me. exactly. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> just a side note, no, sa mga fellow fellows natin. Um, uh, I did not know Yem and Lala, even sa Philippines. This is the very first week that I got acquainted with them and uh, had them as friends. Uh, Yem ha just happened to be uh, a former co-worker of my wife in the Philippines. There's a real estate uh, company that they work together in. And uh, I just want to say, you know, on camera that uh, I really appreciate you visiting us. Mm -hmm. It's Melbourne. Um, we got to show you around and you also you know, got to share us, uh, your story. We look forward to seeing you again next time. And you know, hopefully, di tila ni kaya tama nila. Yeah. So you know, uh, congratulations, guys, uh, on your migration story. And so, guys, uh, I hope you picked something up from this uh, interview and uh, enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. And uh, I'll give you further updates in the future. So for now, from fellow fellows, bye everyone. Bye. <laughs> Alright, that's it! <laughs> Quick as! Hindi nyo na nakain yung dessert nyo. Let's just keep it. You guys right? First time! Hello fellow fellows! Welcome to our kapihan and dessert here in Werribee. Kasama ko yung aking uh, good friends from Alice Springs all the way from the middle of the country. Uh, I first started to dream uh, in Australia in 2006 to be exact. Alright. So before that, I was like, um, I'm a cook at the same time. I work in the baguette. Ma, nagaham yung dishwasher. Um, you gotta pick it up. There you go. Ah, let's start from let's start from the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just realized. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, Hello, fellow fellows. This is your fellow fellow once again. Hello, fellow fellows. Thank you again for watching. Uh, Hello fellow fellows! Thank you for visiting us once again dito sa ating tea time in Werby. I have a new visitor here, a couple from Alice Springs in Northern Territory, the middle of Australia. Yem and Lala Yusebio. Hi guys! Yo <laughs> Ah, it was so close! Sorry, sorry. Okay, mommy! You know why you said you're a master, you know? You're a master, you know? You're a master, you know?